So I know there's always a lot of questions about what people do for storage of their dishware and their drinks, or their drinking glasses, I should say. And this is what we do. So we have two cabinets that are here above the sink in an RJCO. We have these plastic trays. And these, um, I actually have some of that gripper kind of contact paper on the bottom here. And these just set on top of this and it prevents them from rolling around. So these really don't go anywhere. And then we actually have true porcelain dishes because we like eating off of real plates and not having plastic, but we have that one with a little bead of silicone on the bottom here and you just do a one-time bead, let it dry. Eventually some of this sometimes will start wearing off after you've been washing it a lot. But overall, it's really nice because one, they don't rattle around as much, and two, when it's sitting on your table, you can actually be driving and moving around and it's not gonna go anywhere. It just stays put, which is awesome. So I have one for dishes. This is supposed to be a bowls one, but it really doesn't fit a lot of bowls because our bowls are so deep. So I just have a few here, and then I have more bowls back here. So I have um, actually have some plastic ones, and then I have more of the porcelain stacked above it. We keep a pitcher or water or lemonade or whatever we're doing and we have one of these guys to hold the coffee mugs. So um, we have some wineless stem glasses. We use the stainless steel and we have some stainless steel coffee mugs but you know when you go somewhere like Yellowstone you need to have your mug from there and it's just nice and homey to feel like you can have a normal cup of coffee in your normal mug and so we do like having a few, but you're trying to keep them from breaking, and so we put them in here, and they're great. They don't really make noise or rattle around, and they stay safe. You see I have a little shot glass right here, a little shout out to our home state. And then on the other side, I have, um, this is just like one of those $1 bins you could get from the dollar store or anywhere else. And I have in here some plastic glasses. We have some of our clean canteens in the back. And then um, this was a popcorn bowl from Disney World. Um, but it's nice to have containers. And then I have mixing bowls. So this is a nesting set of mixing bowls. And they have the lids. So you can store stuff and use, use those to store things for the fridge. Um, I always use a Pyrex. I use this to boil water, all sorts of stuff. Uh, more of the stainless steel. We have a four set of the glasses, the um, wine glasses because regular wine glasses are, are just kind of a bad idea on an RV. And then um, some stainless steel cups. And then, uh, oh, I just happen to have another little mixing bowl up there. And then these are these little food trays. I actually got these from Disney World when we were there and they were so great that, oh wait, no, these weren't at Disney World. This was from um, the Smoky Mountains. They had a little uh, lunch hut area by Kate's the Kate's Cove or, whatever, Cove or whatever it's called area and um, they had a food area and they had these little um, disposable trays but I asked for a few extra ones because I thought that'd be perfect for the rig and they are they're great they're the perfect size we actually brought them to food and wine festival at Disney World and they were great for carrying things around so this is how we store our dishware and then some of our storage container stuff and then we have an additional cupboard above the microwave where we're able to keep our pots and pans. And that one doesn't look as pretty, but maybe I'll work on that and do another video. <laughs> Thanks for watching.